What is up you guys, DX1 here back with another Pokemon Go video and this one we're just going to talk about some brief news updates that have surfaced recently and I wanted to just cover those real quick and get those out of the way. Also we're going to be doing our first generation 3 preview about the first three Pokemon of generation 3 but first I mean there's a, oh, that's a red hat, okay. First is an Ariados in front of my house. I never ever get good spawns in front of my house. And, you know, I'm just going to pick this up real quick. Uh, it's going to be tough. Let's see. See if we can get on the first throw. So the Ario Dose just shows up right in front of my house. Like, I can't resist. Oh, boy, it's going to be... All right. All right, let's not play around. Um, let's not waste time here. Because it's already, like, it's already, like, 11... Oh, it's, like, 10.44. It's almost 11 o'clock. Like, as I'm recording this video, I still have to edit it and then get it out tomorrow morning before I go to work. So, kind of want to get this as brief as possible and this Ariados is not helping my cause get in there come on all right oh my god dude are you serious oh come on don't do this to me get in the ball oh my gosh man this Ariados won't even let me start the freaking video all right you know what I don't have time for this There. Okay, the RE dose is finally down. So now, let's get right into this video. So we're gonna start off, oh, and there's a Scyther. Guys, there's a Scyther at my church. I need those candies. Ah, oh, it's so not the time. Man, I you normally I would just roll right up to my church and pick that one up, but Nope, we got stuff to talk about in this video update. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the news, shall we? I think that rhymes. Let somebody, somebody in the comments, let me know if that rhymed. I think that rhymed. But let's take a closer look at the new super incubator that I broke light on in my last news update. So the new super incubator looks like this, and it's going to... Let's take a look. The older, less effective incubator slightly more by design, blah, 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 blah. All right, so it doesn't really tell me in this article like what it's going to do, but I already know what it's going to do. It's going to slash the time of egg incubation in half. And that means, guys, that means, wait for it, more Stardust. A Stardust bonus, big day. So, in other words, there we're going to be receiving a new super incubator, our unlimited incubator, which looks like this, is the orange incubator that we always have. It, it will never expire. It always will be there. Um, I usually use it to hatch 2Ks and 5K eggs. So I don't usually use it for 10Ks. But this is what the new um, unlimited incubator is going to look like. We only get one. And the regular store incubator has a different look to it. Also, there have been exclusive raid additions and raid bug fixes. So... There's, there have been changes to the exclusive raids, so they're preparing for those to roll out next month when Mewtwo comes out. And also we have the Metamon Mystery, which has to do with Ditto and his expansion towards Generation 3 Pokemon. So Ditto is going to be coming to Generation 3. Ditto's not going anywhere. He was here for Gen 1, Gen 2, and he's going to be playing around with basic Pokemon in Generation 3. So that's a thing. So... We also have new shiny spawn references in the code, and we can also search for different Pokemon by their movesets by using the at um, symbol on the search bar. So we can search for quick and charge moves. So say we wanted a Tyranitar with Bite and Fire Blast, or Tyranitar with Bite and Stone Edge, or for Alligator with Hydro Pump, or a Meganium with, say, Earthquake or Petal Blizzard, we can now search for those movesets in the search bar. So that's pretty interesting. And also, take, just take a look at all of the code that has been added um, to the game. These are all the Generation two, um, Generation 3 Pokemon that have been added to the game's code that we're going to be going over in the first episode of this new awesome Generation 3 series. Because I know, I'm well aware that a lot of Pokemon Go trainers are unfamiliar with Pokemon beyond Generation 2. So, I want to do my part and filling you guys in and making you guys as prepared as possible for Generation 3. 
But before we get into that, there's also one more piece of news I want to cover. A new Niantic security measure that targets GPS spoofers, warnings issued, and future bans have been possible. So a lot more spoofers have been seeing. Let me see if I can load this up. Uh, yeah, a lot more spoofers have been seeing this image on their accounts, which is basically the um, security detection warning. So that is going to be pretty prevalent moving forward. So. We're thinking that they're, it's actually targeting spoofers instead of just bot and map accounts. So this is going to be pretty big for the spoofing community. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to do about this. I don't even know if it's going to be relevant. I don't know if anything matters at this point when it comes to spoofing. Um, I don't even know if spoofing can ever be stopped. But I know that this is Niantic's step in the um, right direction if they want to eliminate spoofing from the game. So. You know, if they're going, you know, if they're going to use detection, and if they're going to detect accounts, they might as well detect what is the real issue of hacking in Pokemon Go, which is spoofing. So, I'm thinking this is a step in the right direction for Niantic. And God, I'm, I'm, my mouth is dry, guys. I remind me next time to, you know, bring up a glass of water or just like juice or something while I'm doing all this talking on these videos. So now we're going to take a look at the first three Generation 3 Pokemon. The first three being the Grass type starters. Trico is going to have a max CP of 923 with an attack stat of 124, a defense stat of 104, and a stamina stat of 80. And also, Trico will evolve into Grovile after you've collected 25 um, Trico candies. And Grovile has a max CP of 1508 with a max attack stat of 172, a max defense stat of 130, and a stamina of 100. So it's looking like Trico and his evolution family are going to be primarily just attackers. So once you have 100 Trico candies, we'll be taking a look at Sceptile. And shout out to Pokemon Go for having this article more in depth for Trico, Grovile, and Sceptile. So Sceptile is going to have a max CP of 2,584, an attack stat of 223, a weak defense stat of 180, and a stamina stat of 140. So, Sceptile is going to be a huge grass type attacker. So, it's going to be it's going to be awesome to use with raid battles, with jams. I'm so looking forward to having Sceptile in this meta game. And, and to be able to catch Sceptile in a while. That's going to be sick. Sceptile is going to be an epic, rare spawn moving forward when Generation 3 drops. So, we're just going to take a look at Sceptile's moves that it can learn. Um, these are the predicted moves for Sceptile. Solar Beam, x Rock Tomb, Earthquake, Rock, Sma Rock Smash, Outrage, and Dragon Claw. So, my prediction here is to take a look for the move Leaf Blade to be incorporated in the metagame as a moveset. That is Sceptile and Grovile's signature move. Leaf Blade was introduced in Generation 3. So, take a look and be on the lookout for Leaf Blade when Generation 3 drops. I really think that that's going to be one of the next moves mo moving forward in Generation 3. So that's going to do it for this video and plenty more to come as I'm going to be covering every single Generation 3 Pokemon that is going to be available in Pokemon Go either this fall or I'm predicting early next year, around February, the time where they drop Generation 2. So that's going to do it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next upload, uh, which should be the Pokemon Go Master Quest Chicago Go Fest video, part number two. That should be that video, so stay tuned for that upload, and I'll see you guys next time.